Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wes and today, finally, I've been trying to put this video together for some time, I'd say about almost a year now, and people are always asking, what is the big difference between a 22WRX and a 22BRC? Well, they both have the same engine and they both seem to have a very similar transmission, but on paper, as similar as these cars are, they've got a lot of differences. Guys, before we start, I do want to let you know I have a website, heavymetalrex.com. I would, there I'm selling a lot of merch, including the shirts and a couple of other things on there. Also, I do have memberships turned on, so if you're looking for a way to support the channel, this is the best way to do so. Now, both cars do have an FA24, but there are some distinct changes between the two. Uh, one obviously is turbo and one is not. And here, we're actually going to go look at some of the reasons how these cars are different and some of the reasons how they are similar. Now, what's interesting about this particular car, and we're gonna start with the BRZ, is this is a naturally aspirated FA24. Obviously, it has uh, the FA24 just like the WRX, but this one makes 228 horsepower. Some say some almost up like 234, but I don't know which particular version that is, but it also revs to 7,000 RPM, which is a big difference uh, compared to the WRX, which revs to, I think, like 5,900, 6,000. That's almost a 1,000 RPM difference. Now, even though this is uh, an FA24, what's interesting is this actually has both uh, direct injection and port injection, something that the FA24 and the WRX does not have. Uh, it has a higher compression ratio of, uh, compression ratio of 12.5 to 1, which is one of, probably one of the reasons why it's making so much power with no turbo. This is a very interesting engine. Now, the FA24 that is in the WRX obviously is turbocharged, making 268 wheel horsepower, or at least Subaru, what they like to describe as 271 horsepower. The biggest difference between these two is obviously the way that they rev, because this only revs up to 6,000 RPMs and has a much lower compression ratio of 10.6 to 1. Now, there's a lot more torque in this, about 260 pound foot of torque versus the 184 that is in the BRZ. It's very interesting because even though these cars have the same engine, the configuration makes it different enough that these cars are, <laughs> they're so similar on paper and yet so different in how they make power. Because on a roll, what's gonna be really interesting is the FA24 in the BRZ, there is no turbo light. Whereas this one, there will be some turbo light. But then if you look at these off the line, you're seeing that the FA24 uh, or the WRX obviously can launch a lot faster with all-wheel drive. These differences, I don't think they're gonna matter that much because on paper, these cars are so similar. Now, the WRX obviously comes in at somewhere around 3,300 pounds where the uh, BRZ is, I believe, at 2,900 or right at 3,000 pounds. That is gonna be a big deciding factor in the roll. Now, another thing that's really interesting between these two cars is the BRZ does not use a Subaru transmission. It actually uses the Toyota TL70. I don't actually know a whole lot of information about it, but I am gonna get some more information and try to add it here. What's interesting is I think it is gonna, I don't know how much shorter those uh, gears are on it compared to a WRX, but obviously we know the, the VB does have very short gearing. So on a roll race, this is gonna be really interesting. Yep. Yeah, I'm 
dude. Too. Bro, my my ass is too fat. I shouldn't even be in the car. Thirty-five, good enough. Yeah, that's yeah. good, Lily. It's good. Bro, every time you shift. Okay guys, that, I have to say, it was a little expected, but I cannot, I cannot believe how close this, actually, you know what? It wasn't even close. The BRZ is genuinely faster than the WRX. I cannot even believe that. Um, I know that it was, um, that it is lighter, but considering that it is down like almost like 30, 40 horsepower, it really, surprised me how much faster that was. Now, of course, when it comes to these races, these are regular people racing, right? Nobody here is a professional, and I've never stated that they are professionals, but still, even at the level that they are both at, I, I sat in both cars, and to just make it even, once I moved to the other car, once I moved to the WRX, like, the BRZ was even faster because it got even lighter. I am just blown away. Now, what's crazy, is, and you'll probably even see it in some of these, these races, the BRZ actually revs up to 7,500. So she was actually shifting at 7,200, which is still a shy from like fully redlined, but still with the WRX shifting at like 59, right at 6,000, that made a huge difference because as the WRX was shifting, you could see the BRZ was still moving. And so it would put the, BR, the WRX a little bit behind. Again, I, I'm blown away by this whole race because now I've been thinking if the BB is neck and neck to an STI, that means a BRZ can beat an STI. Oh my goodness. It just gives me so many other ideas on what else to do. I am just amazed this whole night. I am blown away. This has probably been my absolute favorite vehicle acceleration testing so far because these two cars are basically siblings and this sibling rivalry has taught me so much about power weight ratio, transmissions, and just, you know, even having the same heart, an FA24 does not mean a whole lot. It, and that's what I've been saying about the STI and the old WX, it's how you get that power to the ground and out of the car. And this has been incredible. I expected to win, to be honest. I expected not to win by a lot, but just like a hair, uh, but, it wasn't the case most of the time, I'd say that. Especially like when we did like the really low gears, like as soon as I shifted, she was just gone. Just gone, just kept pulling. So uh, that was cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I, I wasn't surprised. I was surprised mm. by how much. Yeah. I had a feeling the WRX was gonna be behind, mm. but I did not expect a massacre. Mm. <laughs> Okay, the winner of tonight. Obviously, there's no winners. It's all testing. Except, for, except, except. Uh, no, 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 you could win this time. Now you gotta kidding. tell me. There's no losers, but there what are. What did winners. you think? Did you expect that? 
No. Um, I honestly expected to lose. Um, I've I've known people with, you know, already built WRXs or STIs or whatever, and I've just been slow always and in the back, you know, just watching everybody. So I've never raced in the first place, and I was like, I'm not a good driver. Um, I'm not going to do good. So that's just going to put me on the bottom end anyways. So, um, no, I was very surprised. I thought I was going to going to die out there. I thought it was going to be like a car, a car or so, <laughs> but so was, not at all, yeah. Guys, uh, again, what a wonderful race. Fantastic testing. If you are trying to decide between a BRZ and a WRX, this is going to make it even harder because yes, that BRZ stock for stock is fast. However, the aftermarket tuning potential for the WRX is much higher. Now, obviously there isn't a whole lot of uh, stuff in the BRZ as of right now, but I hope that in time that they can add a few more things. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative and I'll see you guys in the next one. Before you go, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hitting that subscribe button costs you guys nothing and it gains me everything. Uh, I try to provide as much entertainment and information as possible, whether you're looking at my racing series, vehicular acceleration testing, or you're looking at Tuner Talk, which is actually a great series for newcomers and veterans. My only goal is to try to make the VB community better, and I can't do that without your help. Thank you.